What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pins and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm hyped up. <laughs> We're going to talk about some favorite accessories, fountain pen-ish accessories uh, of 2020. For those of you who have been watching my videos for some time, especially everything around the holiday season, uh, you will already be familiar with these. I have talked about all of them before, some of which I have talked about in length, um, but I still get questions about it. Oops, sneak preview. Uh, I still get questions about them. So I thought, you know what? Let's just do a video. My favorite accessories of 2020. So stop watching if you wanted to see any pens or ink because there are none. <laughs> well, there's technically ink, but not a specific ink. You'll see what I mean. Uh, so since I've been like kind of waving it around, I'll start with this one. Uh, if you have a fear of holes, look away. <laughs> So this is uh, Galen Leather's wooden, like, honeycomb type thing. Uh, it's just a pen holder. That's really all it is. And it's very simple. It's a solid block of wood uh, with 13 holes, uh, a little bit of rubber markings on the bottom, and that is it. It's so simple. It is just so simple. I have never had any kind of pen holder. I've just had, like, the random cup style that you know you get from staples or something for like a dollar um not that this was super expensive either um but i have become obsessed with cavecos lately i mean as you guys all know um so i keep pretty much all of them in here uh and by pretty much i mean actually all of them um and i just i really really like it so I highly recommend that. Pen holders, like I said, have never really been my thing, but in 2020, I had to stay home. And I mean, I've always been a pen case person because then you can just grab and go, but I haven't been able to go anywhere. <laughs> so this pen holder really uh, is something I quite like. Uh, I like the look of it on my desk. Um, and I like the fact that I can put all of my Cavecos in there, especially if they're all inked up. I don't have to take up an entire pen case just for that. Um, I can keep it on my desk and then tra -la, la along my merry way. <laughs> and what I use all of those pens for primarily is my other favorite accessory, and that is my journal. Uh, this one also happens to be from Galen Leather. Uh, it's my favorite journal uh, at the moment um, and probably for quite some time. Um, it's uh, 400 pages blank, Tomoe River Paper, 52 GSM. Uh, it's a leather, crazy horse finish uh, journal. It's very soft, very nice. Uh, I love this journal. It lays flat, which is great. I do wish that um, I had the option to have a lined version rather than using their like kind of insert cheat guide. Um, but as of right now, that's not an option. So, <laughs> um, but I can't, I can't not journal. Um, it's something that I started back in 2014, 2015. Um, and I've never looked back as uh, changed the game for me. Um, it helps just every aspect of my life totally helps with mental health, whether I'm in a good place, whether I'm not in a good place, uh, journaling is, uh, my main bay, essentially. <laughs> um, even if I didn't have fountain pens, I would still have to find a way to journal. Although I will say uh, fountain pens basically made it more fun to journal. <laughs> um, and I like it quite a bit. Um, so while specifically I love this book, this notebook, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be this one in particular. Um, I have used many, many, in fact, I think, I wrote actually, what's it, number, so this is my 12th journal. This is my 12th notebook that I've used. Um, I don't think, technically I've used two Rhodia web notebooks. They were different like colors and stuff, but I've never used the same notebook twice uh, until I guess technically the Rhodia, but I have several of these because I don't want them to go anywhere because I love them so, so much. Um, so that journal is amazing. This wooden pen holder is amazing. What else is amazing? 
So I talked about this one also in my greatest finds of 2020. Um, this is a craft knife from Pen BBS, which is a fountain pen company. Well, they make a lot of things, but they do make a ton of fountain pens as well. Um, it is made from the same acrylic as a lot of their pens are made out of. Um, it's very, very sharp, has a standard blade that is replaceable, although I have not looked at how to do that yet because it's still pretty sharp. Um, it's a long handle, which I like, so you can kind of grip it however you want to, depending on what it is you're opening. With 2020, uh, I was always an online shopper. Um, I mean, I work in a very public space uh, and I don't a lot of times want to go out shopping. Um, so I've always ordered online, but 2020 obviously threw that through the roof, especially with the holiday season. I shopped early to get all of my presents on time. Um, so it got to the point where basically I almost use this daily now. <laughs> um, and uh, it just makes my life a lot easier. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the feel of the acrylic. Um, and it, it, this is like a, a, the perfect, uh, hybrid of sort of practicality, practicality, utilitarianism. If I'm saying that correctly, I filmed a lot of videos in a row. So my English is starting to go bye-bye, um, and, uh, aesthetic, which I really like. Um, so I highly suggest a craft knife. Um, I used to just use scissors or I would just beast mode into the box. Um, but this is certainly much, 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 much easier. So I really like that of 2020. And then, uh, something else, another accessory, uh, is well, the another namesake of this channel and that is tea and coffee. <laughs> so for me, tea and coffee, go hand in hand with journaling. Um, there's something really comforting to me when I sit down with a journal, a really nice ink, <laughs> uh, a great pen and a warm beverage. Uh, there's just something so soothing, so relaxing and calming to just sit down, write whatever happens to come to mind. Uh, when I journal, I'm not one that like does bullet journaling. I'm not one that does um, like, I guess, thought out journals. I don't have, I don't have any intent when I open up to write. Sometimes I'll have a, a topic I know I'm going to start with, and then I just brain dump from there. Um, and if I have like a cup of coffee or a tea, usually a tea when I journal, usually a cup of coffee in the morning, tea, tea when I journal, uh, I usually tend to do it in the late afternoon, evening. Um, it just, there's just something cozy and comforting and puts me in a better headspace, regardless of whether I was in a great mood, whether I was in a crappy mood, it doesn't matter. Um, the two to me just go hand in hand. Um, I don't know why <laughs> I find it so peaceful, the two of them, maybe because like just warm liquids in general is comforting. It, it's soothing. It's like, you know, a bottle for a baby, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, if there's any psychologists in the comments, let me know. But um, I just, yeah, the all of them together, especially if I can set the environment even more than that. So for example, for the holiday season, it's snowing like crazy outside right now. Um, you know, my perfect setup would be to sit down at my desk with a journal, hot cup of tea. Um, I'll have the, the fake Birchwood uh, <laughs> fire crackling through Netflix uh, because I don't have a fire in my room. Um, and then I will have my record player behind me, uh, playing some Christmas carols. Uh, I'm really obsessed with, uh, Bing Crosby and, um, Charlie Brown soundtrack at the moment. Um, so that's like sort of like the perfect comfort setup, um, to, to journal. And I can journal from as little as like five minutes to as little as like an hour or as much as like an hour and a little over that, um, and sometimes it's not even all in one sitting. Sometimes I'll start, I'll, I'll write a bunch and then I'll get up and go do whatever and I'll come back several hours later and finish. It's just, it's random. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It just kind of depends. Um, but that's basically why I like coffee and tea so much, especially tea, because it's a little more calming than coffee. Um, but tea just goes hand in hand with my pen life, essentially. Um, I mean, it's part of the reason I got into this channel in the first place, because 
I just love it so much. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else to say. And then lastly, my favorite fountain pen thing, accessory thing, uh, is these bad boys. <laughs> I gotta have my baggy man, I gotta have it. I don't know guys. Uh, and that's ink samples. So <laughs> I used to have hundreds of them. I have pared it down now to these. I'm gonna guess there's probably about 20 in there, maybe a little less. Um, but ink samples really are what uh, I prefer to go to over bottled ink, even though I have a fair amount of bottled ink um, because I get kind of bored of ink pretty quickly. Um, I mean, there's a few that definitely uh, stay the course, um, which usually end up in my top five. Uh, but for the most part, I like to vary up my ink a lot. Uh, and ink samples are basically how I do that. So it is technically more economical to buy a bottle of ink than it is an ink sample. Um, but not if you're going to buy like 10 bottles and only use a couple milliliters out of the ink and then it just sits there for years and years and years and years and years. So <laughs> uh, I like to do uh, ink samples uh, because it means that I get to change my ink up all the time. I could go from a pink to a blue, to a red, to uh, a warm brown, to a cold brown, to like whatever I want. I got a purple in here, I got a green, I got like, you know, I can just, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, and you usually get anywhere from three to five milliliters, uh, depending, well, I guess two to five milliliters, depending on where you buy them from. Um, and that will fill, uh, again, depending on the pen you have. You know, if, if, if you've got like a um, Caveco Sport that really only holds about half of a milliliter at a time, I think this one actually has a, yeah, it does have a cartridge in it. Uh, not a cartridge, a cartridge converter. This only holds about a half a milliliter, a little bit more, but about a half a milliliter. Um, that, you know, you can fill up like four times, five times, depending, like you can fill it up a whole bunch of times from an ink sample. So it feels like it goes a long way. Um, if you have a pen that's like a vacuum fill or a piston fill or something like that, that holds a lot, especially if you eyedrop or convert it, like I have this one, um, then it holds a ton and it'll do the whole thing. But, um, you still get a pretty decent amount of fills out of them. Um, and then if you like, if you fall in love with it, like, you know, my uh, Sailor Manyo Kuzu, which you can't really see here. Um, I, I bought a couple of these samples actually and, and didn't realize it. Um, I guess that's the only downside of buying samples is you do have to keep track of them. Um, I bought a few of these vials and I'm on my last one and I've probably gone through the equivalent of about nine milliliters so far, which is about the fifth of a bottle. So I do plan on buying the bottle, uh, but 99% of the time when I buy a sample, I have no intention of buying bottles. Um, I just wanna use the ink a couple times and then call it a day, especially with you know something like, uh, like Diamine Jack Frost, uh, which is like kind of like a sparkly ink. I don't really love sparkly inks uh, or like Noodler's uh, Baltimore Canyon Blue. Um, I don't want a whole bottle of this because it's not a color that I would typically use a lot and it, it's probably gonna stain like crazy. Um, I haven't used it yet, obviously, <laughs> uh, but this way you can kind of try it out. Um, and I just, I just prefer samples over bottles. I really do because I... I just, there's so many inks, there's millions of inks and I want to use them. <laughs> so that really is is one of my favorite accessories. Uh, if, if I mean, I'm labeling it as an accessory, you know, you, you can do what you want with that, but um, it really is one of uh, my favorite ways to use it. So guys, that is my favorite accessories of 2020. We got the pen holder, we got a craft knife, we got a journal, we got coffee and tea, and we have ink samples. Why I always tend to make five of things, I don't know, that's beyond me. Maybe it just fits nicely uh, in a like top five thing, fits the YouTube algorithms, whatever you wanna call it, I love it, and I hope you did too. So 
If you like this video, if you're still here 15 minutes in, hit that like button. If you liked it and want to see more like it every Monday and Friday in the occasional Q&A on Tuesday, hit the subscribe button. Guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy. Happy holidays. And I'll see you next time. Bye.